Hello everyone. Welcome to Park Maths. In this video, I am going to solve this interesting square root math problem. That is square root of i plus square root of minus i. But remember that some people can pronounce this symbol as i, but some can pronounce this as iota. Now, how can we solve this math problem properly? Now, to solve this math problem properly, first we will write solution. And then we will do a discussion in the solution again and we will try to solve it step by step. So the question is square root of i or iota plus square root of minus iota. Now how can we solve this question? In the next step I am going to do something special. So we can write this equation further as square root of we can write iota as 2 times iota divided by 2 plus and we can write this minus iota as square root of minus 2 iota divided by 2. Now what I did do in these two terms? I multiplied and divide 2 in both the terms. If we cancel these two so it gives him these two numbers back. Now, we will split this square root over the numerator and the denominator in both the terms. So this equation will become square root of 2 iota divided by square root of 2 plus we can write this as square root of minus 2 iota divided by square root of 2. Now in the next step we will separate 1 over square root of 2 from the numerator numbers. So this equation will become is equal to we can write this as 1 over square root of 2 times and we can write this square root of 2 iota as square root of 1 plus 2 iota minus 1. Here I add and subtract 1 with 2 iota plus 1 over square root of 2 again we will add and subtract 1 with minus 2 iota so 1 minus 2 iota and minus 1 now we can write further this equation as 1 over square root of 2 times we can write this number as 1 can be written as 1 square plus 2 iota can also be written as 2 times 1 times iota and we know that minus 1 is equal to iota square because this is in a complex identity that iota square is equal to minus 1 plus 1 over square root of 2 times here we can write this as 1 square minus 2 iota can be written as 2 times 1 times iota and again minus 1 is equal to iota square now next we can write this equation as is equal to 1 over square root of 2 now this is a famous algebraic identity a square plus 2 times a b plus b square so which is equal to a plus b whole square so here a is 1 and b is iota so it will become plus minus square root of 1 plus iota whole square plus 1 over square root of 2 times again this is a negative famous algebraic identity a square minus 2 times a b plus b square so it will become plus minus square root of this is a and this is b so it will become 1 minus iota whole square now in these two numbers this 2 and this square root will be cancelled with each other and this 2 and this square root will be cancelled with each other because this square 
and this is square root and they are reciprocal of each other which can cancel each other so this whole equation will become now we will take plus minus 1 over square root of 2 common from both the terms so this equation will become is equal to plus minus 1 over square root of 2 here 1 plus iota is left and here 1 minus iota is left so plus 1 minus iota is left now in this expression this minus iota will be cancelled with this plus iota so here only 1 plus 1 that is 2 is left so this whole equation will become plus minus 1 over square root of 2 and there is 2 but we know that we can also write this 2 as plus minus 1 over square root of 2 we can write this 2 as square root of 2 times square root of 2 because if you multiply these two numbers it will become square root of 2 whole square the square and square root will cancel with each other and it will give same 2 so this is equivalent to 2 now this square root of 2 will be cancelled with this square root of 2 and this square root of 2 you will multiply with 1 so it will become is equal to plus minus square root of 2 which is our final answers in terms of square root but if we calculate its value using a calculator so we will get 1.412 so this is our required and final answer of this nice square root math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye